Welcome back to the show analyzing real-life attacks caught on tape. Let's take a look at our video and see what kind of self-defense lessons we can learn out of it. Leo, let's take a look at our video. So as you guys can see, there's a guy here in a gas station. Suddenly another guy getting out uh, to him. They have an argument going on, get closer. Suddenly, quick punch to the chin. The guy's on the ground and the attacker keeps punching him. Okay guys, so as you're able to see, we have an argument happening in a gas station between two guys. We can see they get closer, they get aggressive, and suddenly, boom, punch to the face. Direct knockout, the guy goes to the ground, and then we have the other guy punching him, boom, boom, till the other guy just walks away, and that's it. Now, let's see what kind of lesson we can learn out of this scenario. With this kind of distance, is this really possible to do any kind of defend? Let's test it out. Let's do a little experiment talking about distance. I'm gonna be in a distance that I'm able to touch you with my hand without doing any step forward. So I have a reach. Leo, all you gotta do is simply redirect my hand when I go touching your chest. Please bring your hands here. Yeah, just one hand. And all you gotta do is redirect my hand. Pay attention what of a kind of a short moment, movement Leo has to do. All you gotta do is small redirection. Whoop. When I have to drive my hand all the way, let's say from my pocket to his chest. Okay, so who has a longer motion to do? Of course, me. I have to drive my hand all the way to his chest and all he has to do is simply redirect with a small motion. Yeah, that's it. And that's actually in Krav Maga as well and self-defense called an inside the fan. So let's test it out. Leo, please put your hand ready close to your body. Ready? So I was able to touch him. One for me. Okay, let's see how many you can block out of five. So one for me, two for me, three for me, four, and you got less chance. So as you were able to see, I was able to touch Leo five times out of five. It's not because he's not quick and it's not because the defend itself is not uh, a correct defend. You could simply do this, this defend on the street, but the problem is the distance. Okay, even though my motion is longer than you, right? You are not able to simply redirect my motion because I have the element of surprise. You have to process more information in your brain. You have to see my body motion. You have to see my hand coming toward your chest. Your brain is supposed, supposed to command your hand to do the redirection motion. So all of this takes time, even if my motion my attack will be longer than your defend. So concept number one we, we want to learn out of this scenario, never stand in a range, in a distance that the guy can simply reach you with your hand. Go back, if there's an argument, you can speak, but the simple step backward. Okay, now let's test it out. Leo, take from here, see, I'm, that's not a good reach. Take a small step back. Yeah, all you took backward is really a baby step. Now let's do the same experiment, ready? One for you, okay? Two for you, three, and so on. Why now he's able to defend himself, to do the redirection? Not because there is such a big difference in the distance, because my body now, whoop, I'm doing a step forward in order to reach him. And my body is much slower than my hand. The hand motion is very quick, but just here, hand motion, I'm not reaching him. So I gotta do a step. And this is indicating my intentions. When I'm doing a step towards him, if it's an attack or in our, in our case, simply tap to the chest, showing the indication you have double the time or even more to be able to defend. So that was our first principle for this scenario, speaking simply about distance.
Okay, never let your opponent stay here. Those kind of things, okay? It's not about ego, guys. Take the step backward. You wanna stay safe. So always you have the range that he at least has to do a step in order to reach you, okay? In our scenario, he continued and put the guy on the ground and we'll continue with uh, this second scenario with the next episode. So stay tuned with us for the next episode, learning how to defend yourself when you get to the ground. Thank you guys. Leo, thank you. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.